man. So nobody gets in. No biggie. Yeah. Yo. Yo. What's up? What up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of shit. For real though, today we got the Link Zero in the mail. I've been hyped for this, a lot of you aren't, and so I'm hoping maybe this will change your mind. But also, I've never seen them, so I might be hyped all this time for no fucking reason, but we'll see. I wanted to get into this real quick because I've had these for about a, three hours now, and Brennan has yet to come over, and I've been waiting this whole time to open them and see. Because your boy been working. It's like fucking Christmas morning, except for my dad doesn't beat me anymore. Change that. All right, let's see what we got. Put this razor up before I slice my fucking throat. All right, get out of there. Dude, okay, Ooh. I dig these. Ah, oh, no tongue straps, I knew it. I mean, fuck, 65 bucks, I figured there was not gonna be tongue straps in it, but it's whatever, man. Hopefully, like, I got this pair with the intent to skate. Not gonna do that today, though, because that'd be way too long of a video. In an upcoming video, we'll show that. So yeah, of course I want tongue straps for skating because I hate it when the tongue does this. Literally just fucking folds over. Oh, yeah. It's like the worst look, the worst feel. It's fucking terrible. But let's see what we got. We got some little tags here. Specialty leather. Nature Tex Ultra. I haven't seen this one before. At Cosmo, we strive to make the world we live in a better place. That's sweet. This lining fabric is made from 100% recy recycled post-industrial material and ortholite. Take this off though. <sighs> Let's try this on, see how it fits. The insole is removable and who would have guessed? It's a little plank of foam. <laughs> Never would have suspected that. But once again, 65 bucks. I mean, come on. These flat laces suck too. I'm gonna swap these out for some oval ones soon. I'm not taking off that shoe. Yeah, these are true to size. Put this lace in. Get up so you're not looking at my nuts. Loosen some, you suck of shit. Yeah, these are true to size. They fit good. There's actually less room in these, like wiggle room, than a normal pair of links. Oh, geez. Which, I mean, I guess you could expect with how low this toe cap is and stuff, so my toes don't wiggle around a lot. Like, I really think this pair will be good to skate in. I mean, they have suede, which is good. I think these are going to be sick to skate in, dude. They look like it. And the bottom's got that DC Shuko USA. Yeah, that's really sick. And you can lace it underneath this piece right here to protect your laces some. But typically, though, I blow out, like, this one right here. And they don't have any hidden protective lace loops or anything like that. So that one's probably still going to go regardless. But I do like that option that you can lace underneath that. Like how the old Manticas and stuff like that were. Dude, these are dope, though. I mean, 65 bucks. I don't know what you guys are complaining about. This is sick. Okay, yeah, so these do feel like, I mean, obviously they feel cheaper. They're a cheaper shoe, what do you expect? But the main thing is like, you know how with the Lynx, if you guys own a Lynx, this sole is thick, but like it's thick still when you wear it, you know what I mean? But this one, it looks kind of thick. Obviously it's a little thinner than this, but it feels like the bottom of my foot is like down here. It feels like this is basically a Volk shoe that's dubbed a cup sole, like almost. Which sucks because I tend to land on my heels a lot when I bell shit. So probably I should just learn to not bell shit. But it's going to hurt my heels a lot. We'll see. Like I said, this is all just thoughts. I don't know for sure. I'm going to skate these in the coming weeks and do a video of it. And see how they skate and whatnot. And see if it's true that they do kind of suck on my heels. But it feels like it would. Brandon tried to pair on and he said that within like the first few seconds he felt like it would really bruise his heels. Yeah. And I feel like Heel that's gonna busters happen. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, my heels already like screwed, so this is not gonna be good for him. But we'll see though. Like I said, this is just theories. I'm not for sure on that. But I'll still love them, dude. I mean 65 bucks. What what's not to love? 
They look great. They look just like a Lynx. They still have like a poofy tongue, man. No tongue straps. That's that's a bummer. But has the option to lace underneath that, so you can protect your laces. That's a plus. And they're 65 bucks, man. $65. You can't really get anything for 65 bucks that is like this. Not right now, at least. I'm pretty sure more companies are going to follow suit when they start seeing this. Like, $65, great shoe. They all got to follow it to keep up. So, they'll probably start doing that soon. But, that's it for the Link Zeros, guys. Amazing shoe. It's light. Feels good on my feet. But, that sole is a little thin. The insoles suck. Maybe if I swap out the insoles, it'll be a little better. We'll see, though. But, dude, look at that. Beautiful shoe. Me and Brian's about to go take some photos of it for the video. Still has the little embossed Lynx logo, too. They didn't cheap out on that. I figured it was going to be like a little printed on logo. Yeah, I mean, the only thing's missing really is like that little T toe panel piece right there. And lace loops. That's it. And I know a lot of people hate lace loops, so this will be for them, I guess. This is sick, though. The Lynx Zero, guys. More colorways coming. I think they're really going to go heavy on this shoe, honestly. I think they're going to do like a ton of colorways. Some are going to be the OG colorways and then a bunch of new ones too as well. And once again, this is not a replacement for the Lynx OG. So we will still be seeing some Lynx OGs coming out, I believe. I've seen some colorways that haven't come out yet, so those should still be coming out. So don't think that this is taking this shoe out of the lineup. It's not. It's just another option for all the people that are poor, like myself, and don't want to spend that kind of money. Let's see. We also have this, Brandon. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's I'm up in this, I'm pretty fucking excited about this. Fragile. Yeah. You got to handle this with care. It's like me. Handle me with care. <laughs> but, you know what? Actually, no. Let's wait on this. Because, yeah. yeah. These Link Zeros came in today. They're supposed to come in tomorrow. And so... I feel like it'd be too long of a video to do this. So we'll do this in another video. So y'all just keep your eyes peeled to find out what is in this mystery bag. It looks like it's the perfect shape for a complete skateboard. Or your entire collection of dildos. It'd be a lot bigger than this, Brandon. A lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. They're over at your mom's house though right now, so. Probably. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait to open this though. <laughs> Oh, shit, all right sick. yeah that's it guys thank y'all for watching for real man like comment subscribe all the good shit and more of this to come um hopefully some more link zeros too like i said we will be doing video skating these but i'm gonna try and do more than one day of skating like how most of our videos have been when we skate shoes we just go out here and skate for a day and then i tell you what i think about them but i'm gonna try and skate these for a couple days and get a couple clips in and then really just see how they actually skate. I feel like that'd be a better review. But yeah, thank you guys a lot. D-Link Zero. I feel like this is a great shoe, man. Honestly. Thank y'all, though. See y'all next time. Peace out. See you guys.